Hello, it's Wesley. I got a request to show a longer version of the collage process video that I used in my first International Zine Month video. Um, I filmed it at 10 times speed, so this is not real time, but I thought I would go ahead and oblige. And so this is just going to be me doing a little voiceover and talking about my process of the collage a little bit. Before I started the collage, I knew I was going to be on camera, so I pulled out a bunch of materials, all sort of loosely black and white, um, a few of them that I thought would just fit well with the theme. I had sort of a general playful vibe that I wanted to go for, so I just picked a bunch of options in advance for me to use and assembled all of my materials so that I wouldn't have to stop in the middle. So for starters, I wanted to do a background just to get something on the page because a white page can be really intimidating and just don't know what to do with it. So what I did, I've got this little stamp. It's one of those things that you'd see at like an office where you can rotate the um, letters and numbers to spell different things. So for this one, I just spelled it to IZM with a dot in between and 2021 and just stamped it all over the place. I about halfway through thought it would be more interesting if I split it half vertical and half horizontal so that's what I did and luckily it turned out pretty uh it like it all fit pretty well. Next I decided to start with the sort of centerpiece the showstopper piece that I knew I wanted so I just went ahead and glued that down. It's also the biggest one and so having that in place made it a lot easier. After that, I was just kind of playing around. I knew I wanted to leave the center relatively open because that's where I was going to put my um, IZM stamp. And before I got started, I put a few little dots um, of, in pencil around the corners so that I knew how big it would be and approximately how much room I'd want to leave. You can see here that I had glued down that little bird thing and then realized I wouldn't have enough room for this big Ouija board thing. So I went ahead and peeled off the little bird and just slapped down this and filled in um, the letters for zines because I wanted to do a little color. So it's totally fine to change your mind and just because something is glued down it doesn't mean it's set in stone. Especially while the glue is wet it's pretty easy to remove them. Besides that, I'm not really going in a set order. I'm kind of putting things randomly. I don't care too much about overlap. I really just want to fill space and fill as much space as possible. At this point, I have most of my main pieces down. So what I'm doing now is trying to decorate each of these individual pieces. So for that character, I really wanted her to be reading a zine instead of holding the plushie. So I'm just cutting out a little piece of paper to roughly fit into her hands glued that down and then drew a zine on top of it so that it looked like she was reading a zine and just did a little outline and then wrote zine on it like 22 zines which is my zine project obviously <laughs> and did a little drawing on the back um right here i have this little bird i thought it would be cute having them carrying a letter to be sort of like a male a male bird and so i just drew an envelope and had them carrying it and then i wanted to give the puffin one too <laughs> um so this just creates like a little story. It themes them a little more to zines so that's not just random birds. There's nothing wrong with having random stuff, but I just wanted to make it a little more themed towards zines. I drew a little mailbox there that they're delivering to and it created like a nice little story. I wanted to add a little more red around the yes and around the page so that your eye didn't get too stuck up on the zines, which is why I added the heart and colored in the mailbox red and the yes red also. Um, I also wanted those people to stand out a little bit more because I saw that in comparison to the other parts of the um, piece, they were just falling into the background a little. So I added some outline in black and just some little lines so that it could stand on its own a little better. And finally, I added one more stamp because I didn't want your eyes to get too stuck on the stamps in the upper left corner. And with that, it was getting pretty busy, so I figured this was the time to add the main stamp just so that it didn't get too overwhelming. I just painted some white paint directly on the back to make sure that it would have a nice clean background so it would be readable after I stamped it. Um, and then I had to wait for the paint to dry. <laughs> so while I was doing that, I decided to um, just add a few more things. I added like this little cat stamp to 
grunge it up a little bit so it didn't look too perfect. Um, and I think that actually helps integrate a lot of the pieces together more. And I added a nice black background just around the entire piece because I think it frames it really well, draws your attention inward, and I just thought that that would look nice. Um, you can see that the yes is sort of fading through the white, which I did not anticipate, but I think it looks so cool. <laughs> so I'm really happy for that. Um, you know, collaging is all about happy accidents. <laughs> so now I, you know, double checked to make sure that I left enough room for the stamp and I spread out this black um, ink stuff on another page. I rolled it onto the stamp and just pressed it down. I did not take into account the fact that the raised pieces of the collage mean that the stamp wouldn't be perfect, so I had to fill in some little bits with black pen, but overall I think it just adds a, more of the handmade quality to it and it doesn't bother me at all. So yeah, that's about the end of it. Um, the whole thing, the whole process took me about half an hour. Um, of the actual making and the recording part took me about half an hour and it spent maybe like five or ten minutes before that just getting all of my materials together at the beginning so I wouldn't have to be going and grabbing them. If I were to do this without recording it and without preparing my materials in advance, it might have taken me like an hour or an hour and a half just because of the amount of time that I would spend going through all of my collage materials. So I hope you enjoyed. I certainly did and um, if you're interested I would be Happy to film some more make along with me or or collage process or art process videos because they're really fun. Thanks so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.